We're standing in front of a 19071 Evergreen Road. This is the work in progress video. We just picked this house up a couple days ago, and uh, this is going to show as work is progressing in the house what it looks like now, and then we'll show you the finished video once it's completely done. We have a concrete block house. That roof should clean up just fine up there. And uh, we've got some nice uh, brick facing in the front that's got to be cleaned up. There's a little uh, cement pond in front here. So let's just take a quick walk through and see what we got. We've got a bunch of old fencing pieces along the side here. We have to dispose up, but the aluminum fascia and soffit will clean up nicely. Got some brand new drywall that's going into the garage right here. And uh, got some new insulation that's going to be getting installed here shortly as well. Got a brand new door that's going in right there. That uh, is an access door to the laundry room. So we'll come in here, we got a steel door right here. It's in good shape. Here's our laundry room, I'm going to bring the camera around. Water heater, laundry hookups right here along this wall. A little pile of garbage for us right here. So you come in here, we're going to see if these wood floors will clean up. They're actually not in bad shape, but we do have to put all new baseboard in. Bring the camera to the right here. That's our living room right there. And uh, this here was a walkway into the garage. I think they were using the garage as a uh, living space, so I'm sure we're going to turn that back into a usable garage. And opened up this wall right here uh, to turn this back into a nice three season porch. You can see it's all glassed in, and this will clean up very nicely. So, this was put together with some nice aluminum work. We're tearing up these old, ugly tiles on the floor here. Stepping outside, I want to show you that we definitely have a washout problem right here by the uh, well pump, and this is for the water and irrigation system for the home. And the backyard has been mowed. It was pretty tall grass before, but it has been mowed, and there's an old kid playpen there. Uh, this old shed here will actually clean up pretty good. We're just going to uh, fix the roof on it, and it'll be a nice storage shed. Missing some of these blocks right here, the decoration blocks. But it's very easy to put back in. Over here, this was all overgrown, if you saw the before photos. And all this is a little extra screened in area. And uh, that was a concrete pond, but it was in very poor condition. So we're just going to clean this up and make it like a nice little extra screened in lanai area. And uh, there's your AC. And we've got to cut some of these branches back, as you can see they're overhanging on the roof. So a lot of that will get trimmed back professionally, so we don't have any issues there. Now, coming inside the house, we'll go back in here. You're going to see, uh, walk you through the living room here. We're going to be closing that in, right? What is it? We're going to close that in? Yes, we want to close the right here. We want to put the door over there. And Perfect. Completely wild walled. Perfecto. Good. All right. And uh, dining area right there. We have raised panel doors in pretty good shape, and the front door will clean up because it's got a nice cut glass window in it. We did, however, rip out the kitchen. You can see right here the original tile floors. And I will be putting a new kitchen there. Are we putting new tile floors in the kitchen too? Uh, they don't decide anything yet. Okay. But uh, they say maybe they're going to um, do the grout, the renew the grout, or I don't know if they're going to change the tile. Okay, because the way the wood floors are just a little higher than the tile. That's correct, yeah. Maybe it'd be easier to go right over the top of the tile. I don't mm -hmm. know. All right, we'll see how it turns out. Cool, put the new cabinets in here, new lighting in there, as you can see. But they want to put tile right here in the back, too. Okay, that'll look good. Then coming down the hallway here, this bathroom here has the old original tile, the old tub, but that might clean up. And this tile around it isn't in bad shape, but the toilet is gone and the vanity is gone because those are all going to get upgraded. Get rid of that mirror and put a nice light in here too. So that is the guest bath. Now let's come over here. And guest bedroom number one, old carpet is out. Big walk-in closet, nice size window. This is actually a pretty nice size bedroom here. And it's a big walk-in closet right here. So. Put that back together, that's going to be nice. These are all baseball cards that they had to take to the ceiling, so of course that's going to come down naturally. And coming over here, 
master bedroom right here. All the baseboards out. We'll put a new baseboard in. Got to really clean these ceilings. As you can see, they're dirty. And uh, big walk-in closet over here. We're shoving all the way around. It's going to go in. And then as we come over here, the master bath is already ripped out. Got the vanity gone right there. We'll be putting a new mirror in and light bar. Pulled out the entire shower here. And I'll be redoing this entire shower with shower pan. Because it has to be done. It was in bad condition. We have one little leak right there, which we can fix. It's super minor. I don't even think it was a leak. I think it was something else. So we'll work on that and then a new toilet right there. So that kind of shows you how we're coming along on this right now. We'll come back in about a week to 10 days and see if she's finished yet. My name is Dave Detman, a Real Edge Real Estate Brokerage. You come down and see us in Florida real soon. You take care and God bless. Bye-bye.